Miss Del Marco, do you have pants? Are these the only clothes you have? Yeah. Why? You'll find any excuse, right? To put your body on display? Does anyone have anything Miss Del Marco can use to cover herself? I feel a constant sense of betrayal. It's like, I don't even know why I'm dying anymore. I brought his girlfriend to our family home. And then last night, he's like, oh, I know you're so upset about before, but both your mom and I expect more from you. Mom, I can't stand being there with her. She's practically living there now. Please, be really aware of what you're doing. I'm very aware of what I'm doing. Are you? Do you seriously think that you get to question me and my choices right now? Yeah, we got Joey D on the list, right? Yeah. The ultimate list. <laughs> well, you're ranked ridiculously high on this list, too. You're a bomb pussy. Our friends are fucking douchebags. You're one of the 50 most fuckable females at Grand Army. It's on Insta. Hey, what's wrong? Hey, hey, we were just fucking around with the Insta list, right? What? Dude, it's not that. Yeah, but why are you wearing a bra? Joey Del Marco's doing a no bra thing today because dress code's sexist. I'm protesting with her. Part of the point she's trying to make is that her body isn't a distraction. I know, and I'm obviously down for that. And if it does distract you, then that's your fucking problem. She loves to fuck with me. It's because you're the bad one. The bomb ass glass ring, though. <laughs> Oh, Mr. B, um, I wanted you to know that Miss Wilder, she called me a prostitute before she sent me down here. This is a classroom and you're dressed like a hooker. You're basically prostituting yourself for attention and it's disruptive, Joey. You can step out now, Joey. Sorry? Head down to the office, please. I'd love an apology. Joey, the language I used was absolutely unacceptable. Nothing warrants me speaking to you like I did. I'm sorry. I really like him. Like, I really like him. Yeah, I think he feels like that about you, too. Uh, George, why don't you sit there or something? It's, it's okay if I sit here, I'll be close to her eyes. Bro, it's not even like that. Yeah, maybe not. But you're hoping it was gonna be something. Dude, you fucking love it when her attention's on you. And you know, her and I, we've actually been fucking- What, bro, sucking face? I am getting attention from her, and, and so is he. Have you been watching? You don't have to be like, throwing yourself at my friends. It's like, you know, send me a message. Fuck you. I'm just saying, you haven't fucked yet. It's because of your pussy. <laughs> because that girl is down for whatever, man. She's ready to deep throat some Nazi cock. So, you're not talking to me anymore. And that, that's okay, sorry, what? You want to get on top of me, huh? You give me like a lap dance or some shit, yeah? You need more fucking attention, Joe? Okay, no problem, let's go. Why are you the bad guy? Because I am. What did they even do? Anna, they're just gonna bring the boys down to the precinct. Okay, well, did you notify our parents? Because they are minors. Tim! I'm already getting texts. Fucking them over. And even though they did what they did, and they did, I'm still fucking them. Do you think that, or are you concerned other people think that? What happened? I can't live here anymore, Mom. I saw him. Okay. I disappear, Mom. Please let me disappear. She feels embarrassed that she hooked up with us. She was sitting on my lap, and she kissed me. In a way, kind of forced it on us. It's just Joey being Joey. How can you stand there and act like it was nothing? Joey, I know that we drank a lot. What? And we smoked a shit ton. That was embarrassing for you, I guess. And what the fuck? No! Joe. Tim. Tim, you what? You sat there while they pinned me down! 
It's true, though. I saw you. Oh, my God. I watched you motherfuckers do what you did, so don't even Mom. fucking right, try. Tim, Tim, what are you saying? Oh, fuck you, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck you for what you did. Let's go. Let's go.